Mickey and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, long ago, there was a palace called Happy Valley. It was a beautiful spot with lush fields and prosperous farms. High above the valley stood a shining castle where a magical golden harp lived. This harp had an enchanted voice. Every day she sang, casting a spell of peace and joy over the valley. But one day something terrible happened. A huge mysterious shadow crept over the valley. When the shadow lifted, the magic harp was gone. The rivers stopped flowing, the birds stopped singing, the flowers stopped blooming, the trees stopped growing and the crops stopped ripening. Nobody had enough to eat. Days then weeks passed with no sunshine and no rainfall. In a small ramshackle cabin in the valley there lived three farmers. They were very hungry farmers because they had no money and no food, only a cow who had very old and thin. The farmers were called Mickey, Goofy and Donald. They sat down to share the meal, a slice of bread and one single bean. I know, fellas, Mickey cried. Let's sell the cow and buy something to eat. It was a good idea. Mickey took the cow into town while Donald and Goofy waited, dreaming of the delicious dinner they would soon be eating. Mickey soon returned home. What did you get? The two asked excitedly. Turkey? Lobster? Sweet potato pie? Beans, announced Mickey proudly. Beans, yelled Donald. Yes, but they are not ordinary beans, Mickey insisted. These are magic beans. If we plant them by the light of a moon, they will grow in just one night, Mickey explained. They're just beans, replied Donald angrily. He knocked the beans out of Mickey's hand and rolled into a hole in the floorboards. Still hungry, the three friends tucked to bed. But during the night, by the light of the full moon, one of the beans began to grow. Higher and higher the beanstalk grew, until it lifted the little shack right up in the sky. The next morning, the farmers awoke in a fantastic new world. When they opened the door, they could see a huge castle. Let's investigate, cried Mickey. As the friends got nearer to the castle, they could see huge steps leading to an enormous door. Who could live in such a strange place? Uh, Anybody home? Mickey asked nervously, knocking at the door. There was no answer. Bravely, they crawled under the door and entered the castle. The castle seemed to be empty. Mickey, Donald and Goofy gazed around. Then they spotted a vast table with loads and loads and loads of food. Look, Mickey cried, pointing to the feast. Come on, let's get it. But just as the farmers began to tuck in, The sound of mighty footsteps boomed through the castle corridors. The willy, the giant who lived in the castle, burst into the dining room. That ballgame has made me hungry, roared the willy. Hmm, I smell pot roast. Chocolate pot roast with green gravy, yum. The giant began to his meal. The three terrified farmers hid behind the salt cellar hoping that the giant would be too busy eating to notice them. But all of a sudden, whoosh, enormous hands scoop up three friends. Got you, roared Willie. Now I'm going to lock you in my treasure box. Mickey managed to wriggle free, but Goofy and Donald were flung into a box. They were amazed to find that the box already had a prisoner in it, the magic harp. So it was Willie who had stolen her. Luckily, the harp had thought of a way they could escape. She began to sing a soft, sweet lullaby slowly. Willie's eyelids drooped until eventually he fell into a deep sleep. Mickey climbed down to the snoring giant. He searched through Willie's pockets until he found a key to the box. Quick as a flash, he grabbed it and climbed back to free his friends. You did it, Donald cheered as Mickey unlocked the box. Let's get out of here before the giant wakes up. Donald and Goofy headed for the door. Aren't you coming, Mickey? asked Goofy. But Mickey wanted to slow down the giant if he fooled them. So he went back to Willie and tied his shoelaces together. 
Then he ran out of the castle and started climbing down the beanstalk as far as he could. But Willy woke up. He untied his laces and chased Mickey down the beanstalk. Meanwhile, Donald and Goofy had reached the bottom. They found a saw and started to cut the beanstalk down. Just as the beanstalk began to topple, Mickey jumped off it to safety. Uh Uh-oh, said Willy nervously as the stalk began to sway then topple. Wiley was helpless. Down and down he fell to a place far away from Happy Valley. The farmers were safe and so it was Magic Harp. Thanks to Mickey and his friends, the Magic Harp was back in Happy Valley. At once the land turned green again and crops began to grow. The whole valley echoed with joyful songs and laughter. Peace and prosperity reigned. As for Mickey, Donald and Goofy, they moved to a new farm where the soil was rich and fertile. Mickey went to the market and bought back their cow. The friends were determined never to be hungry again.